And my favorite part was definitely working with Cavaliers right there. I love them so much. Um, I came to camp last year and so I definitely wanted to come back. It was so much fun and I just learned so much here and I have a great time and that was definitely like my favorite part working with the Cavaliers. It was really cool. I just liked learning their choreography. I thought that was really cool because I haven't spun rifle for very long at all so and I picked up on it really quickly so I'm really happy and it was really fun to do the work too. They're gonna look, they're gonna find something that's stationary. Because if you look at someone's head and they move, you'll move with them. They're gonna find something stationary and you're gonna look at it the whole time as long as possible as you go across. Does that make sense? It'll help you not get dizzy and it makes sure you go in a straight line and not like, oh, I'm going. And then you like <laughs> take someone out and they're on the floor with a broken ankle, right? And what? Two, three to the back. Beautiful. And right now we're looking to that side, spotting over there, yeah? I promise it'll help. Spotting. And turn. Spotting. Turn. Turn. And down again. My name is Jules Cerini. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. And I actually got involved in Color Guard because I got dared to be. Our show is entitled Secret Society. And we as the Color Guard portray the people wishing to join the Secret Society. So that throughout the show, we will be um, we will be performing various tasks to um, try to get into the secret society because that's where we want to be. It's basically the Cavaliers are already in the secret society, so they're the people giving us the instructions on what to do. And so basically, it's just us wishing to be in this beautiful organization. And then in the end, we all end up in the same organization. It's fabulous and wonderful. Going around, and they're really aware of what's going on around in front of them. Uh, 